Okay, now that you have it all figured out, I'll show you this very complex piece of test equipment I built. It took me hours and hours, you know. A uh, couple of connectors, a few diodes, a insulating structure to mount it on, and a lead or a Cree panel in front. I mean, it took longer to build this very delicate piece of equipment than it did to build a lot of the other stuff. Uh-oh, it's starting to come on, isn't it? Well, here's the the loop, and nothing's connected to it again. We are doing it the way it's been done in the last few videos. It's just sitting there on its own with the coil fairly close. Uh, I can measure that for you, but that's immaterial at this point. And then we have this very complex piece of test equipment. And as you see, there's a hole in it. And the reason for that is that I was showing you that this wire, boy, that thing, if I lay this wire over the top of this set of, set of diodes, that it goes out. And if I lay it over the top of this ring of diodes, it goes out. Okay, so what I wanted to know was what if I set another ring on top of this ring? And what happens is only one ring remains working, the bottom one. The top one will not work no matter what you do. You can turn it sideways, upside down, whatever. Oh, my piece of test equipment's bending. So, what I decided to do was find out what I could accomplish here. And here it looks like we've gone out of frequency for some reason. There we go. Okay, so what I could accomplish with this cute little thing. And uh, it's quite amazing that uh, it's... <laughs> I say amazing, but that's not, not what a, how I should have said that. The voltage or the current that is being represented in the diode rings is a function of the number of diodes, if that makes sense to you. The reason for that is we have a time delay element here, which is affected by frequency. The diodes take a finite time to turn on, we'll say about one nanosecond. So once there's current induced into the ring, and you go around the ring, you're adding nanoseconds till you get back to the beginning. And with this, for example, uh, same thing, I have less diodes in this beautiful piece of test gear than what I have in this ring. And also I have these metal connectors which help in picking up some of the signal. But what I want to get at is that I'm going to extend this and we're going to get some real distance out of it without one wire. If that makes any sense to you or it has any logic to it, of course it does. Okay, so what I've got to do is I can see I have to reinforce my the handle on my beautiful piece of test equipment before I can do any more tests with it. But now that you thought you had it all figured out from the last video where I was using the shorted turn, maybe you're going to have to rethink this.